Toyota began research on the creation of fuel cell cars in 1992. Fuel cell cars produce power when hydrogen from a tank reacts with oxygen. It introduced the Mirai, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, in 2014. According to the company, fuel cell vehicles produce nothing but water from the tailpipe. And Toyota gained popularity among US environmentalists and eco-conscious consumers. But recently, some environmentalist organizations have criticized Toyota, the company that dominates the hybrid auto industry, for being cautious about making investments in fully electric cars. But, what's the real reason why Toyota isn't giving up on hydrogen technology in spite of the new EV focus? Let's find out in today's episode. The manufacturer will still give hydrogen a lot of attention, according to Koji Sato, the new CEO of Toyota. Toyota aims to concentrate on creating more electric vehicles. But the company stressed that it is not about to mothball its investment in hydrogen technology after making significant resource investments in the field. According to Toyota CEO Koji Sato, we want to make sure that hydrogen remains a viable option. Making hydrogen an accessible substitute to gasoline, diesel, and electricity is easier said than done, regardless of whether it is burnt in an internal combustion engine or used to produce power. In order to put more hydrogen-powered vehicles on the road, Sato understood that a production and transportation supply chain is necessary, and the lack of such infrastructure in virtually every country continues to be a significant barrier. We cannot anticipate a growth in the volume of energy used, he said in a report, unless we see evolution there. Also positive about hydrogen is the Japanese government. According to the same report, lawmakers anticipate that by 2025 and 2030, there will be 200,000 and 800,000 fuel cell-powered automobiles, respectively, on American roadways. To achieve this goal, more refueling facilities are being planned across Japan. Currently, the country has around 160 stations, and by 2030, the network is expected to have roughly 900. This is according to Toyota. Toyota's ambition is supported by Yasuhiko Hashimoto, president of Kawasaki Heavy Industries, who also discussed how his company is helping to make hydrogen practical. It is creating a ship that will be able to transport 128 times more liquefied hydrogen than the vessels that will be traveling the oceans in 2023. By 2030, increasing the size of the ship should assist to reduce the price of hydrogen by around 30 cents per cubic meter. In addition, Hashimoto emphasized that hydrogen might one day be a practical substitute for various types of transportation, including buses, trains, trucks, and construction machinery. On the other hand, a sedan FCEV vehicle is planned for Toyota's Crown Line, and it will be on sale in the autumn. Toyota announced the news as it provided information on three new Crown models, the Sport, Sedan, and Estate. Toyota uses proton exchange membrane PEM, fuel cells. The electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen releases chemical energy, which is converted to electrical energy by a proton exchange membrane fuel cell. This process leaves just water as the only byproduct. The membrane receives some of the created water in order to humidify it. It has repackaged fuel cell technology into small fuel cell modules in order to maximize the potential of hydrogen for uses other than autos. The essential parts, the fuel cell stack and parts for air supply, hydrogen supply, cooling, and power management, are combined in a small package that may be incorporated into a wide range of goods and users. In order to provide greater flexibility and make it simpler to adapt to new applications, the modules are offered in two shapes, a box and a flat, rectangular shape. A rated output of either 60 kW or 80 kW is possible with two variations for each form. Caetano Bus, a division of Toyota Caetano Portugal, revealed last month that it would give 60 hydrogen-powered electric buses with Toyota fuel cells to the bus business of Deutsche Bahn, DB, DB Regio Bus. In less than a year, the initial fleet of hydrogen. City Gold City buses will begin service. The purchase of 60 fuel cell city buses is part of Deutsche Bahn's effort to accelerate the transition to a carbon-neutral business in accordance with its objectives to phase out all of its diesel buses by 2038. With over 470 million people transported annually, DB Regio Bus is the largest bus service provider in Germany. Meanwhile, let's dig deeper about what a hydrogen car is. A battery electric car's electric motor is the same type that a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle uses to turn its wheels. The fuel cell stack, however, uses pure hydrogen to travel through a membrane and react with oxygen from the air to produce electricity that turns the wheels as well as water vapor. 
this method is used instead of the heavy, bulky battery in the vehicle. This means that a fuel cell car is actually a series hybrid, which is why they are frequently referred to as fuel cell hybrid electric cars, FCHEV. Hydrogen is considered an energy carrier by scientists rather than a fuel. Ignore that distinction though, as hydrogen fuel cell vehicle drivers fill their car's carbon fiber high pressure tanks at hydrogen fueling stations with a five-minute fill-up period that are conceptually quite similar to the old dependable gas station. The most prevalent element in the universe is hydrogen. That is true at the atomic level, but pure hydrogen is never discovered. It always comes in combination with other things. It makes a good energy carrier because of its high inclination to bond with anything in sight. It takes a lot of energy to crack a substance like natural gas, CH4, into pure hydrogen, with CO2 as a byproduct in order to produce pure hydrogen for cars. Run through a fuel cell, the hydrogen immediately returns that energy in the form of electricity as soon as it combines with oxygen. The majority of hydrogen today is sourced from fossil fuels like natural gas. All that emerges from the exhaust pipe is water vapor, H2O. Are hydrogen cars safe? As a result of the high-pressure tank's ability to withstand even the fastest collisions without leaking or breaching, HFCs are generally regarded as being as safe as any other type of vehicle. The 1937 Hindenburg explosion is frequently brought up by opponents of hydrogen, although even if the rest of the vehicle were totaled in an accident, the hydrogen tanks and their associated technology would probably survive. The relatively few HFCVs sold to date have not been associated with any injuries or fatalities that were specifically related to the hydrogen components. Pros and Cons of Hydrogen Fuel Cell Vehicles In addition to being smooth, quiet, and serene to drive, HFCs also produce only water vapor from their tailpipes instead of hazardous gases like carbon dioxide. These characteristics are similar to those of battery electric vehicles. They don't have the same issue with charging times like EVs have. They can be refueled for another 300 to 400 mile run in around 5 minutes. A few drawbacks do exist, with the availability of hydrogen fuel being the most difficult. In actuality, there are only roughly 60 hydrogen stations in California, despite aspirations from a decade ago to have 100 by now. The fact that not every one of those stations is always open and ready to fill up with petrol is the biggest concern. The California Fuel Cell Partnership's real-time station status report allows you to see how many H2O green dots are active at any particular time by counting all of them. For planning their fueling stops before leaving, many hydrogen drivers use that app. Cost of hydrogen fuel The narrow network of retail stations naturally charges high rates because hydrogen fuel is a specialized good for the general public. According to the California Hydrogen Business Council, the cost of a kilogram of hydrogen to travel the same distance in California is currently between $10 and $17, or roughly $5 to $8.50 per gallon of gasoline. About 5 gallons of hydrogen are stored in a Toyota Mirai hydrogen vehicle. Honda, Hyundai, and Toyota have all given their customers and lessees free hydrogen fuel for varying lengths of time to make up for this drawback. A Toyota Mirai comes with up to $15,000 in free hydrogen, but a Hyundai Nexo offers the same amount over the course of a three-year lease or a maximum of six years of ownership. But the driver is on their own after those deals expire. Furthermore, if hydrogen is equivalent to gasoline at $5 to $8.50 per gallon, overnight EV charging typically equates to gasoline at just $1 to $2 per gallon. Answer, having said that, what do you think of hydrogen-powered cars compared to battery electric vehicles? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.